and this is my first birth control that I've ever had in my life and now I'm having all these issues. If you're new here, my name is Courtney. Welcome to the channel. If you are a returning supporter, welcome back, baby girl. You already know the vibes. Welcome, 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 welcome back, welcome back. I know it's been a minute since I started posting vlogs, but to be honest, I've just been going through it. I know in my last vlog, I um mentioned that I had a rough start with the whole new year or whatever, and then like y'all like this past week i've been freaking fighting to try and get my instagram back so <laughs> it's crazy because and it's freaking frustrating because i you know like i was just talking about how social media you know you just need a social media mental break sometimes and so me of course i'm going to tell y'all things that i do i'm not going to tell y'all to do things that i don't do or show y'all how to do things that I don't normally do. Like, that's just hypocritical. I'm not that type of person. Everything is real and genuine on my channel. So, of course, I'm going to keep it real. So, okay, boom. So, I was telling y'all about, you know, taking a mental break or whatever. And so, I, like, temporarily deactivated my Instagram, right? Not knowing that I wouldn't be able to get in this shit after. Because I've, I've, like, temporarily deactivated my Facebook, too, before. It was easy as hell to get back in. All you had to do was put in your password and your username right so i think this was my first time um temporarily deactivating my instagram and i did it y'all and now i can't get back in and i tried to message the little help center or whatever to try to get back in my instagram but like they keep emailing me telling me like oh well we deactivated your account or disabled your account because you went against the community guidelines i never went against the community guidelines like i barely was even freaking active on there which i was going to change that this year and i had like 1600 followers and i temporarily deactivated my own account and now they're saying that they deactivated my account because of some stupid guidelines stuff that i didn't even go against so i don't even know what to do at this point like i have seen on facebook that people were talking about like a lot of these social media accounts being hacked and like people been having problems with instagram so i just don't know what to do at this point i just know that i need my damn instagram back like i'm working with sponsors and stuff like that and you know how crazy that is gonna look when i'm trying to work with a damn sponsor and then my instagram followers say one like what like this shit is just so crazy and i'm actually getting a lot of sponsorships y'all <laughs> and this shit happened the devil was busy okay but i'm not gonna let that you know get me down i'm still gonna stay in the right head space do what i need to do and accomplish these goals i just want to bring y'all along with me today because i know i have been a bad vlogger but honestly i have to be in the right head space in order to come to y'all and be on this camera because I don't just come on and fake it like I really can't just fake that I'm in this certain mood and I'm really not like I'm not phony like that so I was just trying to get my life together and figure this shit out and deal with that frustration so that's why I've been kind of MIA lately but I am back I missed y'all <laughs> and I'm gonna definitely be more um consistent y'all see my skin is coming back together because it's been a, like a minute that i've been breaking out i really think it's hormonal because this damn birth control like this birth control i feel like it's breaking my face out and making my hair like break off because i've never had any issues with like acne or whatever like that throughout my whole entire life and this is my first birth control that i've ever had in my life and now i'm having all these issues <clears throat> oh excuse me and then and then y'all i um what happened oh my hair like i have these sores in my hair and like my hair is like breaking off like i got these little small ball spots in my hair and i was thinking like okay maybe it was the wigs me wearing the wigs all the time but i was taking a break from the wigs like y'all said i haven't wore a wig in a long time 
when I do wear it, I take it off like pretty quick. So it can't be the wigs. So now like I am convinced that it has something to do with these this birth control because I have I have these little like bumps and sores on my scalp and it's just like oh i don't like it like it's making my hair fall out i have the next banana if any of y'all have the next banana y'all have been dealing with that like please let me know in the comments because i really want to know like what it is i i was tempted to go to the dermatologist i probably can get in quick because i used to work at that office so i'm probably going to go to the dermatologist and see what she says but i'm i'm convinced that it's the next banana and i'm tempted to get the next banana out but baby <laughs> I am not trying to have no more kids. Like that is a no, no. Okay, I can't. What's more important to me, having a ball ass head or having more kids? I think the more kids is a big deal. Like I don't think I can deal with that shit. I'll put on a wig. I'll fucking wig all kind of shit to come up my ball spots. But if I have a kid, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, and I know a lot of y'all would love to see me pregnant and have another kid because y'all I've said that many times before but it's not happening okay i got shit to do i don't have time to be rocking no baby I'm trying to figure out playing fucking charades and what the hell is wrong with them mm -mm. no those days are over okay over Benito. i don't have time for that shit no more i have been craving <laughs> um auntie ann's pretzels the bomb ass auntie ann pretzels so I'm gonna go get me a pretzel. I think it's around that time of the month. I don't really be getting periods anymore because of my um, birth control, but like I still get these like pregnancy symptoms around the time that it would be coming on. So it's kind of like I have a period that's invisible because it's like still on. I know, TMI, TMI, I'm getting all subject. Okay, boom. Y'all, I've been MIA lately. Like, I know, like, I haven't been consistent with posting, but it's just like, I've been going through some things. Like, i just been down on myself. Like, for one, let me tell y'all, let me update y'all real quick. I get like, very hard and discouraged when I'm not like accomplishing things I set out to accomplish like I'm very hard on myself and even though I've accomplished things or I've accomplished the little accomplishments that will lead up to the big accomplishment I still be like oh like I'm a failure I didn't do this da, da, da. but I am working on that I'm working on myself and I'm working on changing my mindset because if once you change your mindset your whole life will be totally different like seriously I'm about to give y'all a testimony or a, a speech or whatever it is because I don't want y'all to be falling into the same hole that I've been falling into or even putting myself in because me at my window a little bit because it's not healthy at all so I kind of like just took a break and like stepped back and just focused on myself more so that I can be a better me for me for my family for my kids and for y'all so like if I'm not in a good headspace, I can't perform or even have the energy or the motivation to make videos or come on camera because I'm not gonna be fake. Everything is real over here. I am transparent with y'all. I keep it real. So I want to let y'all know like what's really going on. And I know I don't wanna be that person that just like, I don't wanna be that YouTuber that just go through shit and deal with shit and then come on camera like everything's all fine like no I'm gonna tell y'all what it is and how I got through it like it's a learning curve for me to be able to change my mindset and stay focused and still take care of my kids and still run a business and still be a girlfriend and still take care of responsibilities it's a lot like it's a fucking lot seriously like if you're not like a mom or an entrepreneur I, I know working a nine to five is still a lot. It's a hassle. Like time management is a big deal, and it's easy to get overwhelmed. And that's just where I've been lately. On top of that, my uncle, my mom's brother on her dad's side, passed away, and he was like in his late forties, y'all. And it bothers me because, like, I didn't really like know him, know him, and I didn't really like have a relationship with him, but. It bothers me because if y'all don't know, my little brother on my dad's side passed away last year in April um, from heart conditions. And then a few years before that, my mom brother on her mom's side, her oldest brother on her mom's side, passed away from heart conditions, which was... Um, uh, I think he had like a heart attack in his sleep. And then my uncle that just passed away like last week, 
he passed away from a heart attack in his sleep and I'm concerned about my fucking heart like if you're if that doesn't like open your eyes and bring awareness to you for you to like what the fuck am I doing I'm sitting here talking and I'm going the wrong fucking way if that don't like open your eyes some stuff like that don't open your eyes I don't know what the fuck to tell you like that shit got me concerned because it's like clearly heart conditions run in my family and I am concerned about not only me but my kids as well like what does that mean for us and I had um after my 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 little brother died at like 11 last year I took my kids to a cardiologist and I got myself a cardiologist just to kind of like check up on our heart specifically and everything was fine but it's just so scary knowing that two of my uncles passed away at in, the, in their 40s my um, little brother passed away when he was just 11 and then like my mom my um mom mom passed away young my dad mom passed away young like it's just a lot like it's just a lot mentally I, it had me a little like my ex my anxiety was acting up i'm just i was just a little depressed and then on top of that i was thinking about my granddaddy because february 21st was his birthday and my granddaddy was like, me and my granddaddy was like super close. Like he was older, but he wasn't like, he didn't act like an old man. He was, you couldn't tell him he wasn't young. He, we, we would do a lot of things together. He took me to like find jobs when I wanted to and all type of stuff. So it was just like, we just had this connection. And his birthday was on the 21st of February. And I was bothered by that because like, him. like I really do miss him and I still haven't got the courage to like visit his grave and he's been gone since Kamal was like two and Kamal was like 10 now so it was just a lot mentally going on and I just wasn't in the mood or didn't have the motivation or was you know um I didn't have the drive to really be posting or even recording like coming on the camera so I've been just dealing with some stuff but I am taking time I've been taking time for me to focus on me and that's what I tend to do like when I'm going through shit like I don't just stop recording I literally pull away from everybody like I'll like it's not intentionally but that's just how I cope with things that I'm going through because I just don't feel like I need to be venting to everybody that's supposedly there for you you know what I mean like I don't feel like I need to tell my business to everybody and I don't so instead of me talking to people or whatever I just kind of pull away and deal with shit on my own I don't want to be a burden to anybody I don't want to bring my energy into anybody else's life because that can be draining for someone else um and i just that's just what i do like i pull away like when i'm going through shit or i got shit to figure out what i gotta do i pull away from people i just kind of stop texting people really stop calling people stop hanging out it's not because i feel any way any type of way about them it's just that i feel some type of way about me like i and what i'm going through so that's what i do <laughs> But, um, and I pull away, I get my shit together, I figure shit out, I get back in the right head space, I get back where I need to be, and then I'll bring things back to normal. So that's just where I've been, just to give you a little quick life update or whatever. Yeah.